Are you ready for the heavyweight championship of the world? Are you ready? And we're back. Welcome to another episode of A in His Corner. Coming out the white corner, my name is Bill, and I'm ready to fight. Coming out the black corner, my name is Barry, and I'm ready to fight. All right, I want a good, clean fight. Let's get it on. Welcome to A in His Corner, where we settle the score once and for all. On who's the best? That includes best music, best shows, best movies, best anything. This week, what are we talking about, Bill? You know what, Barry? A few weeks ago, we put out a top. Let me take that back. We put out a list of 20 songs that were breakup songs. Mm -hmm. So we had so much fun with that, a a compilation of songs that we consider breakup songs. Uh, We got a pretty good response back from that. So what we're going to do, we're going to circle back with 20 more. And we're going to put this as a volume two. So here we go. Volume two, part two, our top, our 10 breakup list songs. And the reason Bill is reluctant to label it top 10 is because this is going to be an ongoing series where we'll just keep adding to the list. So these are our 10 for volume two. But I think when we're done with this list, we're going to have a plethora of uh, songs to choose from. So we don't want to limit it and say top 10. But for the sake of the list, we're going to do 10. And we're going to count backwards. So the 10th entry that I have, I'm going with uh, this. This falls into the realm of a cult smash. A lot of people in my neighborhood uh, would play this song like during slow Mm -hmm. jams um, in my area. So uh, a lot of people aren't necessarily familiar with the artist or song, but it is a great breakup song, at least in my world. It's Latif, Without You. Uh, Once again, it was played a lot in my neighborhood, at parties. (laughs) Um, It is a great, it's relatable because the lyrics hit hard. Uh, Mm -hmm. It's about teenage love Mm -hmm. and a a girl having to uh, move because her mom's taking her away. Um, because of some domestic issues that she had with her father. And then he's crying his heart out to her on the song. So I'm going with Latif without you. Man, that came out of love field. I had no clue you were going there. So I, I do not think I, I went with, I want to say some of mine are B track songs okay, on um, okay. some of these albums, but mm-hmm. I do got a couple of uh, mega smashes, but okay. for the sake of this volume, I want to introduce these folks to a lot of these uh, breakup songs they may or may not know gotcha all right so i'll go with an entry um it's a little more upbeat uh probably the well it's not the newest song on this list but um i'm gonna go with neo so sick mm. that's one of I'm, I'm sick of love songs I, I'm, I'm sick of it i'm tired of it i don't want to hear it um the answer machine Message got to change. Mm-hmm. We're done. Yeah, <laughs> we're done with it. Uh, I believe this was Neo's first single. So, this is the first time I seen him. Okay, so this was his first single as an independent artist that I guess went mainstream. Let's just say mm-hmm. that. And this is where we saw uh, Neo as a independent artist, as a solo artist. Let me say that. Um, but he gave us one with this song. So. Yeah. Shout out to Neo. So sick. Tired of all of it. Man, get up out of here with all that. Love it. And I always, <laughs> when, when I first heard the song, I it immediately made me reference Babyface is another sad love song. So when I found out Neo was the one who pinned it, I knew he was going to be here to stay. And years later, he is here to stay and wrote a lot yeah. of our favorite uh, R&B ballads. So yes. solid entry at number 10, Bill. Um, mm-hmm. Number nine, I'm going with Chris Brown, Say Goodbye. Uh, one of Chris Brown's uh, early, so- yeah, early songs, and uh, produced by Brian Michael Cox. Uh, if you've ever been in a relationship for too long and you are afraid to cut the cord, I think you'll find this song extremely relatable. So some people think uh, Chris Brown makes a lot of trendy music, but I think this is one of the examples where I feel like the song still holds up today when it comes across mm-hmm. my playlists, or I always listen to it and remember, like ah, you know, and I remember going through this with a uh, current breakup me and the um, young lady eventually got married but it, it, this song was hot while we were on our on and off thing but i just remember this song is kind of reminds me of my college years you know what barry since you put that little tidbit in i'll say my tidbit whoever i broke up with we never get back together ever again 
I guess they ain't like me no more or something. <laughs> but nonetheless, this song is relatable. Yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> so I feel proud about that entry. Chris Brown, say goodbye. Say goodbye. That's a good one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this one out. Old school guy, one of the best, uh, best vocalists, best singers of our of, of all time. Uh, Marvin Gaye. This song was played on Baby Boy. Mm-hmm. During the rain mm-hmm. scene, mm-hmm. Uh, this was after my dog got the gun put up on him, and I think they put a gun up on him. But he went to go pick his son up, and it's, yeah, when they okay, so you, so the song yeah. is just to keep you satisfied by Marvin Gaye. Yeah. Um, so, I think she said, said the car need fixing and uh, little something about little man and slam, slam the door. <laughs> they ain't trying to hear all that, but if you guys go back for those who. I uh, remember the scene. The song that's playing is just to keep you satisfied. And that song, Marvin Gaye, went off. Mm. He went off. Yeah. He, you know, he said, You were my wife. Everything. He's, he, he said, I would stand all the bitching to and all that. So check y'all check it out. Just I feel like a lot satisfied. of people are familiar with it just because Baby Boy be on heavy rotation on BC. Yeah. So yep. Even if you yep. don't think yep. you know the song, you know the song, at least for that. You know the song. You know the song. You know the song. So just to keep you satisfied, that's my second song of volume two. And uh, so you kept it old school. I'm going to give you a a song that makes me feel old school, but it's actually a a early 2000s, mid 2000s, maybe. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm going with Destiny's Child, If. Might be my favorite song on the Destiny Fulfill album. I appreciate the song because it sounds like it was made in the 60s. Uh, But it's an old school feel, but it's fairly recent. And I just like when artists do that. But if you listen to this song, even if you would do, it just, it, I felt guilty. Like I'm the one that wasn't picking up her phone calls. So <laughs> you just listen to Michelle puts it down on that song. Obviously Beyonce puts it down on that, on that song. And um, Kelly, you know, right before the bridge, she talking to you. I, ladies, I know I need them. So um, mm-hmm. I feel like this is a solid breakup song, whether you're a man or a woman. I feel like you could relate to the lyrics. And it's Destiny's Child. It's Beyonce. Like, come on, man. I got a short Hey, man, listen. I think that's my favorite song on that album. I, bro, it, Michelle, I have to go. All right. Yeah. She, Michelle went off. I think that's her highlight. That's definitely my favorite Michelle song. Yes. Michelle yeah. went off. And that's the song that. If you don't pick um, up the phone like I, if I don't pick up the phone like I used to for you. Yes. Don't, hey. don't you take it personal. <laughs> Shout out to If, bro. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like that one. Shout out to If. Shout out to If. Uh, I guess I'll go with my third entry. Uh, this song is one of those ones that bro, I don't even want to look at you. Like, don't talk to me. No, nothing. It's by Uncle Sam. Mm, I don't ever want to see, wanna you, see again. you again. <laughs> and it had to be his best I friend, bro. I hate it had to be my best friend, yeah. but I don't ever want to see you yeah. again, Uncle Sam. That's so crazy. I, had this I see as an honorable mention last week, okay. and I didn't include it this week, so I'm glad you showed oh, that man. some support. That 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 is a good one, and it, it and now as I think about it, there are so many other songs that we could have on this playlist, but it's 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 just it's just crazy because it's just so many songs. Hence so, the reason for multiple volumes. Not matter. You have to. Yeah, yeah, you got to. So that's my third entry. Um, Uncle Sam, I don't ever want to see you. Basically, I don't ever see your black. <laughs> and speaking of never <laughs> wanting to see people again, I'm actually gonna go with this uh this song. It's a breakup song. Now, I find it catchy, hilarious, and at the same time, it's deep. I was introduced to this song as a kid. And I found it extremely funny. But as I get older, got a lot of uh, homegirls in their relationships where they're dating Tyrones. So I'm going with Erica Badu called Tyrone. It's iconic. So much so they remixed it and they uh, they put it on the uh, back end as the final track on they clone Tyrone. So I think because of her artistry, Erica Badu has a way of being day. funny with it. Now, nah, mm-hmm. but this song, make no mistake, it's a breakup song. Mm-hmm. It's about females who had enough and this is their way of telling their dudes like man how come every time i gotta pick you up i gotta go pick up your cousin them and tyrone <laughs> and tyrone it 
Tyrone got a bad rap for this song, and I think it took a lot of people years to realize she not even talking about him. She Tyrone is the homie, so he's the one that has to come help pick up her, uh, you yeah. know, her ex's stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Again, another good one, bro. That's another good one. I did, had that never crossed my mind. I to, I, I don't but, think we're gonna. I don't. I don't think we're gonna have any matches on this. Okay. Next all right. All right. Yeah, I went out. I went. I went across the field for this. All right, so you you that that was a good one. All right, so that's that's four for you. Yep. So my fourth one would be, um, <clears throat> from the late eighties, early nineties to mid nineties, he was the king of begging, so mm, to say. Come on, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> so you already know. He was he he is known as the beggar. Yeah. So there is a song on his. I believe it's the second or third album. He did it with um Rest is Rest 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 in Peace, Gerald LeVert. Mm. The song is called Just One of Them Things. Mm. And it's Spanx. Yeah, yeah. And they would Broke eventually up, go on to uh form uh, the group LSG. LSG. But, yep. And they did a lot of writing together as well. Yep. Um, but just one of them things. Again, he's the the king of begging. Yeah. I'm sorry, all the wrong <laughs> things I've done, and then you got the 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 one of the greatest voices singers of all time, and Gerald Levert on the hook. Mm-hmm. He's doing some ad libbing, and this is a great constructed "I Want You Back, I'm Sorry" songs by again one of the best to ever do it. Yep. Uh Keith does not get in, in my opinion, does not get enough respect for his pen and production. I think a lot of um, people are starting to lean towards that direction after the verses, but not nah, the verses. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think the verses have always been yeah. on that side. He's yep. he's one of the pillars of RB. He is one of the pillars of RB. Um makes the best baby making music from back in the days. And, and the best beggar. So and the best beggar. So this list. Some way, I so gotta not. put my dog Keith Sweat, <laughs> just one of them things. Hey, that's my fourth entry. So um, <laughs> my what well, next up my sixth uh well number six I'm going with the SOS band my favorite track by the SOS band tell me if you still care <sighs> now it's a banger it's such so much of a banger you forget it's a heartbreak oh, song but it's Jimmy it's, Jam and t- uh, I had Terry to show him some love because, shout out to Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis these legendary producers have uh, a method that gets you to want to dance but also gets you to ball up in a corner and want to cry. So um, once again, this is a banger. If you're not listening to the lyrics, you will dismiss the fact that it's a, a breakup song, but it is a breakup song. It's also one of my favorite tunes by Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Yes. So uh, I had to include it in this compilation of breakup songs. Man, but, oh man. <laughs> Amazon Music be acting up because every time I try to like listen to the, like I try to listen to this while I'm cleaning, you know, um, they don't have this version on Amazon Music, so I don't know what's going on with licensing right now, but I got to get right. I mean, that they had they hit you with the weekend girl, man. And shout out to goal. Jimmy Jam boom, boom. and Terry Lewis. Tell me if you, you still, still care. care. Yeah, <laughs> what? Shout out to the SOS band, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis. You know what, Bear? We might got to get them on the show. I want to get them on the show. Let's do that. Yeah, not even might. <laughs> hey, let's if do anybody that. have any connections? Y'all reach out to them. Flood y'all help us right get them now. on the show because we need them. Good yeah, lord. Um, sure. I'm gonna go with my fifth. Um, my fifth selection. Uh, this guy, he was uh, a staple in late. Late '90s, early 2000s R&B, Mr. Avant. Mm. He has a song called "Separated." I knew where you was going. And <laughs> I think the uh, shout out to "Separated." The remix. And he has a remix is, with uh, the, the is Kelly? it Kelly? No, no, it's uh, Ke- Kelly, Kelly Rowland. Kelly, Kelly, Kelly Rowland. And the remix is just as good. I think <laughs> remix is just as good. But Avant, I think uh, he kind of flies on the under the radar a little bit. But Avant always came with, with some hits. Always. And when this separated came out, yeah. Listen. It's one of those ones. Yeah. It's one of those ones. I, and I, I, I think 
I, I think I, when I people rock with listen, the original as much as the remix, but yeah, both I of do, them yeah, are in I heavy definitely. rotation. Yeah, I do, I do as well. And I think when people, um, when our audience listens to this uh, and watches this video, is I think it's gonna it's gonna push back some memories to them. Yeah, and gonna say, you know what? I forgot about that song. Yeah. Just like you're I kind of doing that. Said to, you're doing yeah. that right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm right thinking now, about the so. music video and everything. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so shout out the but separated. Now that we're separated, we can't stand one another. It's crazy. All right, <laughs> exactly. <I'm going. laughs> Hate you. <All> right. <laughs> Number five, I'm going Fantasia for yourself. Uh, written by Missy. Shout out to Missy. Uh, I think the fear with American Idols, at least back then, was when they when they hit, you were worried that they would hit as one hit wonders. Mm -hmm. And I think when this song came out, for me, it was evident that she was here to stay. I just thought that the song was like I was in a relationship at the time and it just made me want to break up just to listen to the song and jam to it. But yeah. And I, I thought it was a hit when it came out. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't think it was a hit that I would hear on the radio every week. So she has yeah. When I See You, but I feel like this is right close where it's like this is on the radio every week. So it's just uh, one of my favorite breakup songs. It's one of my favorite Fantasia songs. Mm -hmm. And she has a catalog out here and this is one of the best ones on it. So this is... Uh, getting a lot of respect as a breakup yeah. uh during breakup season for sure yeah yeah and uh hopefully we will be able to get fantasia on that versus mm -hmm. that versus uh uh stage one day because she has she got the hits yeah yeah that's it so if you don't want her don't but, talk to her yeah, like, what <laughs> go ahead and free yourself <laughs> missy wasn't playing with that man god <laughs> Jesus Christ, Missy. I don't think man. a lot of people know Missy even did that, but that's just to show you how on point Missy she is. Missy is ridiculous with her pen. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead because you you push me in a uh you you push me to the corner, man. I gotta fight back out. I gotta fight back out. But I think you might be saying one of the songs I'm about to bring up. Probably ahead. so. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with uh one of them so so deaf, so so deaf um artists. Uh, we actually interviewed uh, one of the members of the group, Jagged Edge. Mm -hmm. And they had a song called Walked Out of Heaven. Ooh. Feel like I just, and with the harp and everything. <laughs> hey, who produced that? I want to uh, guess was it, it says Brian was it Michael Brian, Cox. Yeah, was it Brian I, Michael I'm Cox? I'm guessing, but I, I'm just assuming. I want to say Brian Michael Cox. If not, JD had his hands in it. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and say that the, uh, uh, the, the, the twins probably pinned it. Yeah, um, that's just but, us guessing, but I go ahead and uh, yeah, talk and I'll look it up. Man, the song is, is again, it hit you know, it's, it's it was a single, so it was one of those ones that were, um, you know, he just he feel like just walked out of heaven, but like mm -hmm. it's it's he sometimes when you hear these breakup songs or these heartbreak songs or whatever, you just know, like, a lot of these artists, especially the ones that we're talking about they're pulling from somewhere that they probably experienced a lot of this. And I think that's where the best music comes from. And by the way, you were, we, we were on point just with the guesses. So that just show you how emotionally tied we are to the song It's Brian Michael okay. Cox as mm -hmm. the producer. And then you got the twins that pinned it as well as mm -hmm. Brian Michael Cox. So see, we, Hey man, the, the, the twins are bad. The yeah. twins are and bad, bad, bad writers. So, um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead. That's my, is it fifth? That's my fifth entry. Walked out of heaven. My right. sixth, sixth, sixth entry. My bad. Six I, I think that may Sorry be your that. fifth. I think that may be your, oh, okay. One, two, no, no, three, no, no, four, no. We're going no, that's six. Yeah, that's you're six. right. Yep. That's All six. right. So we got four more. And next up, listen to me, because I oh, don't be surprised if these guys don't show up on my list again later on. But uh, for starters, I'm going to show some love to the ISD brothers, Footsteps in the Dark. This song is probably one of the hardest samples in hip hop history, I think. Um, you know the beat from Ice Cube's Today Was a Good Day. Shout out to GTA San Andreas for reintroducing this song to a, to a younger generation. Mm -hmm. uh, there are six possible digital girlfriends on Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. <laughs> and every time you break up with one of them, you're switching the station to <laughs> footsteps in the dark. The lyrics are about a breakup uh, and the singer is second guessing if he made the right decision. And I think mm -hmm. it just shows you how, it, like, I think that's just, when you listen to the actual lyrics, the beat is fire. But if you actually listen to the lyrics of this song, 
it is a classic in more ways yeah. than one. So, um, the Isley Brothers, I'm going with Footsteps in the Dark. They keep, I keep hearing footsteps. Damn. Well, you hit me with an uppercut on that one. Oh, I, I might come with the left hook. I'm bringing. Them I up. got what I, I got. Something that's going to come back. Come back All with right. that one though. I'm mm -hmm. not going to pull it out just yet because I'm going to try to get to the end of this round mm -hmm. and come out swinging on my next round. But I think this is my. This is the song I'm about to say is one of my. It's probably my favorite or. If it's not the favorite, it's tied with the favorite song off of their debut album. It's from 112. Shout out to the boys 112. Especially our, home, our homie Mike. Mm -hmm. It's Throw It All Away. Mm. How could you throw it? Off? It's your fault. This is all your fault. You threw it all away. You love me and you leave me. You hurt me. You, everything. How could you destroy me? That's all your fault. You you, <laughs> you care about yourself, and you just threw everything that we had all away. And I think we uh we before we interviewed the homie from one twelve, I think uh we, we talked about this offline on things that we wanted to bring up. It may have been brought up during the interview, but I know mm -hmm. you kind of tied to this song as well. Yeah. So no solid yeah. entry, and mm -hmm. I think um anytime you're dealing with '90s era uh boy bands uh R and B groups, you're gonna be trapped with a lot of heartbreak songs and i think mm -hmm, this is a solid mm -hmm. solid entry and i don't know who pinned this but um I'm trying to look it up right now as you yeah i was thinking about trying to uh look it up as well but anywho um shout out to the fellas i know slim uh had the, the vote the uh i believe slim not i believe but i know slim you know um led on this song but the harmonies and this song were nuts. The production is just out of this world. Hey, shout out to them boys from 112 because the and things that out to the, the producers, the, that's Darren. Mm -hmm. Member slash producer. You got Arnold Hennings, uh, P. Diddy, and then Stevie J. And then mm -hmm. for the writers, you got Hennings, uh, P. Diddy, mm -hmm. Jones, Keith, yeah, so in Parker, so Q was on that too. Q was actually one of the writers. Shout out to the fellas, man. Y'all made it on the list again. Shout out to the homies 112. I want to yep. give a shout out to another um a diva, a legend, uh, when it comes to RB. Mariah Carey, I'm gonna show her some love mm, okay. off the Butterfly album. You know, she has a couple of breakup songs, but uh when you're looking on the resume, so I'm gonna have to go to her album that went diamond, butterfly, and I'm citing the title track, Butterfly. If you're looking for an inspirational breakup song, uh, turn this on. And uh, basically, the theme uh, could be best summarized as if it's meant to be, it, it'll happen. Meaning if if I break up with you and you come back, it was meant to be. And I just was too young to be listening to this song. It's a beautiful <laughs> song. I think when I looked up, I looked up recently. Did it Did it get some love at the uh, Grammy Awards or whatever? And I, I saw who, I forgot, but it, it that was a big year in R&B. But I just remember that being one of the best records, one of my favorite Mariah Carey records. And it's a beautiful uh, breakup song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Mariah. Shout out to Mariah. Mariah. Shout out to the album Butterfly. Good, good entry, Barry. Again, mm -hmm. another one that I wasn't thinking of. So that's a good one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit me, hit you guys with an old school. But <clears throat> it's it's. It's the moment right before you guys know you should break up, but nobody wants to say it. Okay. This song was featured on The Best Man, uh, the chapters, the one that just came back out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talked. It, it I mean, I know. I know where you're going. <laughs> it's the scene when she was leaving for Africa, and it was a song playing. Neither one of us wants to be the first to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Gladys Knight, because mm -hmm. boy, look at here. That was one of those ones. And when the when you watch the scene and you hear the song and you go back and listen at the song afterwards and hear all the words and, you know, every a lot of times we all at that point where, yeah, we probably just need to break up because it's saying, you know, you're doing your thing, I'm doing, but neither one of us wants to be the first to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to put that as an entry. Um, 
classic song by a classic iconic person group Gladys Knight. Um, man, all time. She's an yep. all time great. Been doing it beautiful for a while. song. Yep. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I got that as my seventh. My oh, she's my eighth entry. Yep. And since we showing love to the greats, I'm I'm going to cite the Isley Brothers again, and I'm going Whoa. to bust it. Okay. I'm going, oh, I'm going, yeah, I'm going with busted. I think it's impossible to listen to this song and not sing along at least one of the verses. Um, <clears> it's <throat> the best example of reinventing yourself. I think uh, when this song came out, a lot of our parents were already jamming to this group, but now you got kids from the ages of three and up jamming to this uh, song busted. So, mm -hmm. um, I gotta show appreciation for the artistry and the popularity of this song, and I mm -hmm. think um. You got uh, produced by Mr. Robert Kelly, and I think he. This is one of their biggest hits, but you're talking to you're talking about the same group who has shouts in their catalog. So just yes. to show you how much hits they have, mm -hmm. um, this ain't one to sleep on. So I think it's one of their better breakup songs. Mm -hmm. If you want to laugh after a breakup, you play you put this on. Yeah. Um. Shout out to the artist who shall not be named which he mm -hmm. was named mm -hmm. um we'll just leave it leave it right there mm -hmm. we, we won't go further uh but you know who um i got two left barry i think this is the one i want to come out swinging swinging back at, at you mm -hmm. uh, we're getting close to these last little rounds but i gotta swing and i gotta swing heavy i just wrote it down since you hit me earlier i gotta come back and hit you with this um, Michael Jackson, she's out of my life. Man, when I tell you, Bill, I, I knew you was gonna put this on your list. I knew you was gonna put. It, I, I was, I was about to put it on my list, and I said, Bill got this covered. So you, I saw that coming. I'm like, I said, should I put she's out of my life? I said, Bill, Bill already got this on this on this list. I thought you would have had it hot, like earlier in the countdown, but I'm gonna let mm -hmm. you talk. Solid she's out song. of my life. Yeah. Off of the uh, off the wall, off the wall album. I believe it's the very last. No, I think so. is it the very last song I, on this? I remember it being last, but I get. Um, uh, let me I, check. I could be thinking. You of, go ahead. Uh, let me check. Let, I could Here be thinking of "Lady in My Life." For "Lady in My Life" is definitely the last song yes, on the Thrill album. So I get these mixed up, but I, I remember this being last. But every time Michael too. sing it, he cry. Eddie Murphy made a joke about it. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. every time he sing this song, he end up crying. Um, she's out of my life. Um, if you guys watch the documentary. Oh Lord. <laughs> if you guys watch the documentary from Motown to Off the Wall, it's a documentary and it talks about the time that the Jacksons got um they left Motown and they got to Epic Records. So it's the time from that era until he hit um Off the Wall. And it talks about the time in between, and then it talks about the formation of every single song. Uh, Spike Lee uh, produced the documentary, and I will say it is one of the most. It, I mean, if you love Michael Jackson, if you love nostalgia, if you love music, this is a documentary you should watch. It, the you whole documentary, I put you on. I remember yeah. and it got uh, the whole documentary notes from Michael at the time and everything. Yes, it was on. Um, uh, it's it's on YouTube. The entire documentary is on youtube so you can go to youtube and watch it and the guy his name is tom something i can't remember he said that he wrote the song as he was driving home he was either either driving home or driving to wherever he was in the song and he was just writing the song gave it to michael eventually gave it to michael and michael did what he did quincy they you know they're when they work together it's ridiculous um, what they come out with, and they came out with "She's Out of My Life," mm. and you know, Gene Wine covered that song as well. Yep, I, I, I believe it or not, this song is uh, frequently sampled. So, like at least yeah. the the beat, I know. Some, mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. I'm not mad at that. I knew it was coming eventually, Bill. Yeah. So I was like, I'm if Bill don't show us some love, I'm gonna get it next time. That but was an audible one, too. That was an audible. Yeah. All right, I'm not mad at that. Play action. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So I'm going with uh, Bill uh, Withers, Ain't No Sunshine. 
I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Hey, y'all got to leave the little thing alone. And the real ones know when to cut off the I knows. I think most people my age were introduced to the song from the Fresh Prince episode. But uh, most people have grown accustomed to the song mm. during breakups. <laughs> um, ain't no yep. sunshine when she's gone. It's depressing. Mm-hmm. It sounds great. It's mm-hmm. relatable. Mm-hmm. If you're a man, it teaches you a lesson if you messed up. So it warns you of things that could possibly come with the breakup. I think this uh, is the making. It had the makings, and it definitely became a classic breakup song. Bill yeah. Weathers, Ain't yeah. No Sunshine. Yeah, and if you watch the documentary, uh, The Godfather of Clarence Ava- Avant, yep. he, uh, I believe Bill Weathers was signed to his record label. Yep, he went from and washing planes to making hits. To making hits, and that's <laughs> where... Um, that's where we got an RP to Clarence uh to yep. to Clarence. To he uh, recently passed away just recently. So rest in peace to him. And um great entry, Barry. Guys, we're hitting we're hitting you with some oldies. We're hitting you with some oldies. So that's letting you guys know. Banger right now, but <laughs> but Barry, I think for my 10th, I think I probably got the one. I What's think that? I got the one. I think this is the ultimate. Um, breakup song I think guys let me know uh, he's probably my favorite singer of all time it is Brian Knight mm-hmm. I did put him on a last week uh, the last one yep mm-hmm. the last volume one, one part last one week. but this song right here is the one um, I think this is the ultimate breakup song one last cry yep <laughs> I just need one, just one. <laughs> yeah, I thought this one last was going one. last time. Yeah, you know when yeah. he was talking because I, I feel like this is his uh, quintessential breakup. Song, this is the quintessential song. This is his. This is I think this is the song that put him to where it's. This is wow. Who is this guy? I know his yeah. brother is the brother. Brothers are a part of Take Six and blah blah blah. But this is the song. I think this is the song right here. Um, it's solidified it's, him it, as you know a staple of R and B, staple of R and B, a writer, a like he is a writer. He is a true musician. He's a mm-hmm. singer. Brian and I is if you need a like a, simple, just a guy who does it all. Voice. Yeah, yeah it, instruments in the voice. That's Brian and I. Yeah, yeah, and there I don't need I don't need drums. I don't need anything. Just give me the microphone. And a keyboard or piano, and I got the rest covered. Don't worry about anything. I got I like, it. I like this pit. I like this pit. It's solid. This so. is this, this one of the ones where I I envy that I didn't put it on the list. <laughs> Not mad so me. there we go. Those are our. Those are 20, 20 additional twenty entries. additional yeah. entries. We ran out of space. To the breakup to the breakup playlist that we have. So, guys, um, as as we did last time, I'm going to. Um, either add these songs to the original playlist that's on Apple Music or I'll just make this as a volume two. So I'll decide which one I'm going to do. But again, as usual, guys, if you have any songs that you feel that we left off or you want to add, y'all know what to do. Hit us in that two cents. Put that in the comment section and leave your two cents. And uh, just to find when, uh, when Bill, when you make a decision on what you want to do, whether you want to add it or um, mm-hmm. create a, a whole separate volume, uh, where can the people find us on social media to make sure they're up to date with that decision? Listen, we are on Instagram and TikTok and in this corner one. That's the number one. And in this corner one, we are on Facebook. We have a page now, Facebook and in this corner. And you can also find us on Twitter and in this corn no R, and in this corn, one. So you, we're on TikTok, Instagram, uh, uh, Facebook. And don't forget, we are also on YouTube. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like this video, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that when we release any new music, you're instantly notified. But please, excuse me, any new videos, we are instantly, you are instantly notified. But please, please, please subscribe to our channel. We're just trying to give you guys good content, but we need you guys to support us, support us, support us. Please support us. Hit the like 
uh, hit the like, please subscribe to the channel, comment, and share our content. Share it. Share it. That's all we ask. It doesn't take much. Share uh share our content, share uh your comments in the comment section. Absolutely. Uh, all the information to find us was on the screen. So make sure you check us out. Mm -hmm. Uh this concludes our episode of hey, volume two, breakup songs. Uh, thank two. you for tuning in to Ed in this corner. Peace. Peace.